controlling your humidity is either going to increase or decrease the way that viruses and bacteria grow, the way that VOCs stay in the house, the way that even dust and dander are moving through the house and everything else. So. If we're gonna address our humidity, we have to do it in a couple of different ways. Here in Utah, you wanna add humidity in the winter, so you're going to use a humidifier. On your furnace, you have a bypass humidifier, which basically works by pulling air from either the return or the supply side and sending it to the other side. It goes across a pad that's wet, it absorbs some of the water, and it adds humidity into your house. Then you go to a powered humidifier. It has its own fan built in, so as it's blowing that air across that pad, you're going to get a better transfer of humidity into the airstream. Now, granted, because my kids were born premature, I went overboard. I put in a steam humidifier into my house. It is by far the most expensive humidifier, but it also works the best because it has a little canister in it. That canister is doing exactly what it sounds like. It's boiling the water, it's creating a steam. The steam is pushed out into the airstream, so it's absorbed and then distributed throughout the house. And then you can control it even when it's shoulder season, your furnace isn't running at all. And so you can kick that humidifier on, raise your humidity up to say 40%, 45%, whatever you're looking for, and you can avoid all of the different problems.